Let us now consider renewal of a bell. Renewal of a bell. Sometimes when a person is not able to honor the bell, he requests for renewing of the same bell. In that case, as far as accounting entries are concerned, we cancel the old bill. So the old bill, the entry is passed just like a dishonor of a bill. Cancel the old bill, entry for dishonor. And then we create a new bill, pass an entry for a new bill. So the entry for dishonor of the old bill and an entry for the new bill. Entries are the same. If the bill has been dishonored, the entry would be, if it has been held in maturity in the books of the creditor, the entry would be to credit the bill receivable and debit the data. And then for the new bill, a new bill is created. Therefore, bill receivable account debit to debt. Similarly, entries for dishonor and entries for a new bill would be passed in the books of the debt. The interesting thing here is that since a new bill is being created, it means the money will actually be received only after a certain period. So, very often interest for this extra period is charged. Therefore, we need to pass an entry for interest, making the interest due either receivable or payable depending on whether we are in the books of the creditor or in the books of the data. So in the books of the creditor, in the books of X in our example, if interest is to be received for a new bill, we would say Y's account debit to interest. This interest is for the remaining period, the extra period, the new period which is now coming in. In the books of Y similarly, the entry would be interest would be an expense, interest account debit to excess account. This entry needs to be also passed. This interest may be settled in cash or it may form a part of the new bill. Therefore, the journal entries that we need to pass whenever there is a renewal of bill is, is cancel the old bill, dishonor of the new bill, Sorry, dishonor of the old bill, creation of a new bill, interest for the period and proceed. Creation of the new bill, the amount may or may not be inclusive of the interest. And a journal entry. A journal entry to... Ensure to ensure that we have understood the accounting treatment. Ram sells goods to Rahim on 1st April for 20,000. Ram draws a bill of exchange on the same date for 3 months. It is accepted by Rahim. 20,000, 3 months bill. On the due date, Rahim requests that the bill be renewed for 2 months with interest at the rate of 12% per annum. Pass entries in the books of Ram. Ram has sold goods. First entry for sale is Rahim account debit to six. Amount is twenty thousand. Next, Ram has drawn the bill. Rahim has accepted the bill. Therefore, its bills receivable in the books of Ram. Bill receivable account debit to Rahim. So this account is, Rahim's account is settled in this manner. This was actually on 1st April. If it is a, if it is a bill for 3 months, 1st April plus 3 months, 1st April, 3 months, 1st May, June, July, 1st July plus 3 months, 2nd, 3rd and 4th, 4th July would be the due date of the bill. 
on the due date rahim requests that the bill be renewed in order to renew the bill the old bill is cancelled and a new bill is created let us first cancel the old bill entry would be rahim's account debit reinstated as a debtor and bill receivable credited to cancel the old bill before we create the new bill let us pass the entry for interest interest is 12% per annum now since it is renewed for 2 months it is renewed for 2 months we consider 2 months interest what is the interest it is 12% of 20000 for 2 months a simple way of calculation as i said before if it's 12% per annum we can it is a simple calculation is to take 1% for every month 1% of 20000 is 200 therefore 200 for each month for 2 months it would be 400 what is the entry for interest interest is an income which is to be paid by rahim to ram therefore rahim's account debit to interest would be an amount of 400 therefore the value of the new bill now will be 20400 entry for new bill bills receivable account debit to rahim 20400 bills receivable account debit to rahim 20400 so the first thing is to cancel the old bill pass entry for interest and create new bill this is the basic structure for passing entries renewing of a bill cancel the old bill pass entry for interest if any and then issue a new bill pass entry for the new bill.